almost responsible for a uh, massive altercation between two of the biggest combat sports stars on the planet. Chef Eric, uh, my chef, <laughs> texted me. He's like, yo, can you get me into catch tonight? So I hit up my person to catch. I was like, hey, can you uh, get our table for my, my chef, Eric, plus, yeah. plus three? Didn't think anything of it, right? I don't know why he didn't say it. I, bro, I get, I get a text from the girl the next morning. She's like, yeah, yo, Eric showed up with Conor McGregor because <laughs> he's cooking for Conor yeah, yeah, yeah. in his camp. And I was like, oh, I didn't know that. I don't know why I didn't make that connection. Like, yeah, okay, cool. And she's like, yeah, Khabib was here 10 minutes, 10 minutes. before McGregor walked in. Yeah. 10 minutes. Apparently, the staff was flipping the fuck out because Khabib was at the restaurant. And, and no one knew Connor was coming. He just showed up, right? And they fucking hate each other. There would have absolutely... Wait, they hate each other? Yeah, bro. <laughs> bro, it's Shit, like the biggest... Well, come on. <laughs> well, there's people out there that are like that. Come the best on. No, part apparently it's still a very active... Because fiery, uh, it, it, they say some shit, bro, that is like bloodline or religion. Like, but uh, Connor called his wife a towel. Yeah, he how did he, he call, say shit like he that and get away with an it? entire culture? And didn't Connor say shit about his dad too and stuff like that? Oh, I don't Wait, know. Dude, no, I saw. No, I saw no, no, that, that, that uh, seems too far. Maybe, maybe. Anyways, the, no, the, he did, he did, and he deleted them. Yeah, the best, the best thing about it is if it went down. I would have had front row seats because I was right there. Oh, you were there? I was there. And I was sitting right behind him. <laughs> no way. And the, here was the only issue. Connor was just hopping around on crutches. Yeah. He, he was just on crutches he the whole got time. He fucked up. He went, he went from there. Uh, it was him, Eric, a bunch of other people at the table. They ate. And then we all went over to uh, Hyde after. And everybody was at Hyde because everything's opening back up yeah. in LA or was at least at the time. And uh, so he had the table with with Mark from Catch, the owner of Catch, yep. and he was. They were just sending bottles over, and I went over uh, at some point, and Eric introduced me to him, and I I gave him one of these, and I was like, "Good to meet you, brother." And he he was just like, "Yeah, yeah all right, mate, man." It was quick, and I don't think he gave a single fuck. And why should he, right? But uh, yeah, it was interesting. Did he know you dated Lana Rhodes? Nah. Did you tell him? I don't him? think so. Nah. But that probably would have helped. He would have probably been a lot. You tell him you're a best-selling cooler. author? No. Nah. I didn't tell him any of that stuff. But he was on crutches. He's yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh he's still in the gym though. He's still he's still yeah, trying yeah. to stay active yeah, yeah. and fit. Yeah. Good for him. You know. Very interesting. That would have been that would have been a fucking crazy situation yeah. if that happened. I, it's 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 so weird not being in LA. 